Tell me something that you pretend you understand that secret you don't. Actually, the first thing that pops into mind is how I'm really good at giving advice, but I'm not very good at giving myself advice. I'm like, that's great advice, Ella. Why don't you take it? What's the best thing about you? I bet this always stumps most people. Which shows how fucked up we all are. Actually, I think it's my weakness as well. I like how I analyze things. Like I can, I can read a play, which is what I do for a living. I, I act. I can read a play and analyze the shit out of it. But then I can also, I don't think it's necessarily the play, but with other things I can analyze too much that it puts me in a stump, right? I get I get so overwhelmed that I just like shut down. Like I work better when I'm there for someone else, when I have to do something for someone else. Then I'm better at taking care of myself. I just spent the summer n knowing exactly what I was doing the first thing I woke up to pretty much when I went to sleep. Like it was, and I like that. I used to think that was very robotic when I was a kid, but I think that's what every kid thinks when they hear that. When I was watching you, I thought, like, what is this like when it ends? It's it's hard. Does it ever drop? Yeah, completely drops. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm I'm in that process right now. Literally, we're like right now in the past few weeks, I've been in drop mode and really struggling. You know, I was exhausted. I did what everyone does: complain, but oh, I'm so tired. But I knew I fucking loved every single minute of it. I loved every single minute of it. My dad took me away and. Beautiful, incredible time. It was just perfect. Except I was going through so much crap at home, like moving, doing all this stuff, and it didn't feel like freedom. It didn't feel like a vacation. It was kind of like ultimate freedom is being able to express yourself honestly to even just one person and them to take it in. Witness. Witness. To witness. To really witness. You know, not objectify what I was saying, but witness as a as to connect. Yeah. And I think freedom is to do with that. I was just thinking you've got your American flag back there and we're thinking about freedom and thinking of all the crap that's going on in America right now. And there really is no freedom going on. No, no freedom whatsoever. So the way that I can understand freedom now is to quantify it within our minds. What freedom is for us to be able to take it's like the, the concept of, you know, of hope. Hope is will always be ultimate freedom, you know, there's, is, is, is the belief in something or, or the, ability to dream. the ability to dream, that is freedom. Well, do you consider yourself free by those standards? By those standards? Yes and no, because I am in terms of, luckily, I am a white, you know, first world country human being who has a green card in this country, then yeah. But I wouldn't consider it with someone who struggles with so much mental straight, like, uh, strain. Mm. And who finds that that's my, my, my prison.